The answer from neuroscience is as mind-blowing as it is elegant. The self is a story. Your brain is a master storyteller. All day, every day, it's hit with a chaotic storm of information. Light hitting your eyes, sounds vibrating your eardrums, memories bubbling up, worries about the future. To make sense of all this chaos, your brain is constantly weaving a simplified, coherent story. And the main character of that story is you. Think of your conscious self as the press secretary for a huge government. The press secretary doesn't know everything happening in every single department. They get condensed briefings and then have to spin a simple public-facing story to explain the government's actions. Your conscious eye is that press secretary. You aren't aware of the trillions of neural firings that create your reality. You just get the headline. The most dramatic proof of this comes from split-brain patients. These are people who, to treat severe epilepsy, have had their corpus callosum, the bundle of nerves connecting the brain's two hemispheres, surgically cut. The result is bizarre. It's like two separate minds are living in one head. In a famous experiment by researchers like Michael Gazaniga, a patient's right hemisphere, which controls the left hand but has no ability to speak, is shown a picture of a snowy scene. The left hemisphere, which controls speech, is shown a picture of a chicken claw. The patient is then asked to point to related images. The left hand, controlled by the hemisphere that saw snow, correctly points to a shovel. The right hand, controlled by the hemisphere that saw the chicken claw, correctly points to a chicken. But here's where it gets wild. A scientist asks the patient, why is your left hand pointing to the shovel? Remember, the talking left hemisphere has no idea about the snow scene. But does the patient say, I don't know? Nope. The left hemisphere, the storyteller, instantly invents a logical sounding reason. The patient confidently says, oh, that's easy. The chicken claw goes with the chicken and you need a shovel to clean out the chicken shed. Gazaniga named this function the left brain interpreter. Its job is to create explanations and rationalize our actions to maintain a single, coherent narrative of I, even if it has to make things up. It shows that the unified self we all feel we are is, in a way, an illusion, a beautiful and vital piece of fiction written by our own brain.